Welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to say a few words about working with the view selector. First of all, press the spacebar to bring up the view orientation window. Let's pin it down. Before going to the view selector, let me just review what we've got here. Some of these items you'll be familiar with. The first one is previous view. Next is new view. And here we can create a new named view. Update standard views. Reset standard views. Down below is the normal 2 view. So let's select this face and then click normal 2. Now what I end up with is a view that's normal to the selected face. Let's go back to previous view. Deselect all. And here we've got the standard views. Top view. Bottom view. Back view. Left view. Etc. Now let's see how the view selector works. We'll click on it. Here it is. The model goes to isometric view before you can select a view using the selector. This might seem a bit confusing, but basically, to select a view, just drag the mouse around and then click on a highlighted segment. To make a selection through the view selector cube, Press down the Alt key while you select. Let's go back to an isometric view. There's just one more issue to talk about. Let's split our view to two views. So right now my left view is the active one. Let's take an isometric view. And let's select the view selector. Let's click on this corner of the view selector. Now let's click in the right viewport to make it active. And here I'm going to use a diametric view. Let's bring up the view selector and click on the corner. Now you can see the difference. In the left viewport, I've got an isometric view. And in the right viewport, I end up with a diametric view. So basically, selecting the corner of the view selector gives you isometric, diametric, or a trimetric view, depending on whichever was selected last. Let's go back to a single viewport. And let's unpin the view orientation window now. Let's hide the view orientation window by closing it. And this concludes our tutorial about the view selector.